Ah, oh, shit. Sorry I had to cut the episode, but now I'm back. Uh, I had a phone call. Well, I killed myself. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I had English building. Shut up. But I don't really have the, 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 the programs to splice video files together yet. So, uh, sorry I had the episode only three minutes long. Alright, let's continue on. More episodes today, upload them tomorrow. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Great. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. I gotta wait for that thing. Cameras, okay. Should it is. Alright. Waiting on you and go. Alright. There's touch chamber seven. Like I said, it's really, really, really easy. And then it starts to get a little bit more challenging, a little bit more challenging, a shitload more challenging, and it's like, what the hell am I even playing? Please right, note here we that go. we have added a consequence oh, for can failure. Drown. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Bouncy, me like you bouncy, me like a bouncer. Okay. Wait on the scaffolding. Wait on the scaffolding. All oh, right, there we go. Oh, if you guys couldn't tell, I'm new to this whole let's play thing. I've seen it done, obviously, because everybody's let's play, and I figured, eh. Even if I never get as popular as... Please note that any appearance of danger bitch. is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. But as I was saying, I've seen it done by many, many, many people, and even hell, even if I get like a thousand subscribers, I'd be happy. I'm just here to entertain. I mean, everybody goes, oh, once you get popular on YouTube, it all goes to your head. No, nah, that's not true, I don't think. Because there are still some good people here and there, so... I figured, why not? I'd throw my voice in here somewhere and see where it goes. So, here we are, the test chamber nine. The Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh, balls. Alright. Let's see if I remember what to do here. The admission center apologizes for this clearly broken... Oh, it's broken, huh? Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Hmm. All right. That was... I don't remember what district that was. All I know is we're flying through the beginning. It's raining blue! I think this test chamber is the one where you get the orange. 
I forget if it's this one or the next one, but here we go, more loading. Welcome to Valve Games. Old oh, Valve Games. Hello again. To reiterate, previously, Momentum. Momentum. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, the function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Hadouken! Alright. Uh, I can't believe I chose this as my first Let's Play. But, oh well. I figured, eh, played it a billion times. Might as well play it with an audience this time. <laughs> In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For okay, instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Uh, <laughs> okay, there is a secret achievement. There is a secret achievement in this part of uh, this level here. If you get yourself locked in a room, uh, let me see if I can actually find that achievement real quick. I have it. Here, like a rat, you have to trap yourself in the test chamber, and then Gladys has to help you continue. Well, basically, if when you get the orange portal and you go into that room and that door closes, you're supposed to leave an orange portal outside. But if you shoot both orange and blue portals in there, she goes, she basically calls you an idiot and then lets you out and then you get a 20 gamer score achievement. Uh, yeah, so let's get the hell out of this room. Whee! And push the button. Wait on the orange portal to get over here. This takes some time. It's shenanigans. There it is. All right. There we go. Not being an idiot. Let's go get the orange portal. Yeah, this chest chamber takes a little bit of time. There we go. Alright. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get that achievement in the next episode. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play so far, so if you are, leave a like, come subscribe, you know. I'm sorry the quality's piss, but I am only using like a little camcorder, so. Alright, well, it's been nice seeing you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of the day, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play of whatever I play. See you then.